Hey guys, it's the, in this episode, let's talk about how we can create an Instagram action sheet. An action sheet is a panel that displays on your app that prompts to your users some options that he or she can text, like share with your friend, uh, reply to this message, open the full block, something like that. And the action sheet in iOS, there's a standard action sheet, just like a UI alert controller, the type is action sheet. But the bumper is you cannot customize that. It's not be able to customize. Like you, if you want to have icons, if you want to have animation, you cannot do that. But in this video, let's talk about how you can create an action sheet with animation, with icons, with images, all of those things. Open up the Start Project below this video. You'll find out a link to download the Start Project. And as always on the blog, you will be uh, you will submit your name and email so I can send you the start project and also my new iOS course for you. I create a new iOS course and I want to give it to you for free as my thanks for checking out the coding out show. Let's get into how to give how to build an Instagram action sheet. All right, guys. So here is how the startup project looks like when you open it, and I hope that you already download the startup project and play it now run it now and i also send i will also send you another course that i create for you for free that you can enjoy at the moment of this this screencast the new course that i'm sending you i will be sending you in a separate email is the own things tail view course that we will build everything you need to know about tail view very very cool now Right now, when we click onto this kind of like bookmark or um, button, nothing happened because we haven't implemented the Instagram action sheet yet. So in the episodes tail view controller in the project navigator, click onto episodes tail view controller. Okay. And below here, you will find out about a target action. It says full block the tapped okay and here in this full block the tapped let's implement this alert controller this i be um this um, kind of like instagram action sheet now we will not implement it from scratch because i pre um, i actually find out a github open source library on github that implement the exact thing that we want to use. So very, very nice job. His, uh, the user is Utah like that. Okay. And if you look at this, the action sheet here, it is a view controller, a UI view controller subclass. It, it implements something with these gesture recognizer delegates so that it can knows which buttons that you tap on all of those things and it will send you the notification all of those things so you can check it out and look at the class over here all right now i will show you how to implement this thing in the full block the tab here let's just have some of the buttons on the screen now the first thing is we have to got to have an alert controller and the type is I YB alert controller like that. And with the title of, okay, let me show you. Alert with the title. YB alert controller. And we'll use a title. The title here is maybe something like, hey there, okay, just testing. The message is visit me and leave a comment or share this with your friends all right now because the the app that i'm building here for your demo app is kind of like a block app we have a tons of uh episode and also when you click onto each episode you will show the full block so it's kind of like a block app the style here we use dot action sheet okay and if you notice that instead of action sheet you can also have an alert view but in here, let's just use an action sheet. And let's add another button for into this alert controller. Alert controller dot add button. Okay. And the button here, let's have the um I, instead of using a title, I will use an add button with the icon. The icon here, let's use an UI image with a name of comment because inside the assets the ICS assets there will be an icon that I prepare for you with the name of comment the title let's see something like visit 
full block. I know, I know. It's like the comment here. Let me show you the a set. I see a set. The comment is like that because if you want to comment on the thing, you have to go to full block and there will be a comment thing, right? The action here, or you know what? Let's make it here. Leave a comment. Leave a comment like that. And the action. Let's press enter. Inside this, um, we have a closure. This closure, we can implement some of the things. Like, if you don't know about closure, closure is just like a function that you can pass around and it will get called whenever this button gets pressed. So in this closure, I just want to show up a Safari view controller. If you don't know about Safari view control, great, it's my chance to show you. Safari view controller is the thing that allows us to, to like literally have the whole Safari displaying a web page. We have all the features that Safari uh, provides us. So let's have a Safari VC equals SF Safari view controller. And we use a URL, which is NS URL with the string of with the string is HTTP slash slash And we use block. Okay. It's my blog website. Next. Let's change, maybe you want to change uh, some properties of this Safari view controller. You know what? I already implement most of the things in here. So I will copy paste the Safari view controller code right above this full block the tab. Okay, copy that, paste it here. And there we go. It asked me to ungrab this NS URL. So let's ungrab that. And now we have the Safari view controller. Next up, let's have another method, something like we want to tweet this block, right? We want to share with our friends on Twitter. So alert controller dot add button. And again, we use the icon. Icon here, let's use UI image with the name of tweet. Like that. And the title here, let's use tweet this episode. The action. We don't need this action, but if you want to have the action to be share this blog post with Twitter, then do it. Okay. I will not show you that because it's in another episode that I already did how to share things with Twitter, with Facebook. You can find out at dictionio slash blog like this. All right. Next up, how about we want to have another button that we want to open up maybe something like my courses or another website. So alert controller dot add button is an another image so ui image with the name of like safari so that it shows the icon safari the title here is duke's courses and the action i will press enter because i want to open up another safari view controller so i will copy this thing paste it here and instead of IO like this, I will put it CO so that this is my website for courses. All right, there we go. Next up, after we got all of the buttons, after we configure the buttons, let's make sure that we show this alert controller. Alert controller dot show so that we can show the alert controller. Now let's play the, uh, let's run the app and see how it looks like. Like that. Now, when we click onto this guy, click on that, and there we go. We have our buttons showing up. But notice that when the the color of this thing, the color of our um, buttons, it is like grayish by default. So I want to change it into the tint color of our app here to be this reddish color. So I'll copy this thing, this UI color. I would want to change the color of these icons. So below here, let's do alert controller dot button color uh, button icon color. Right, button icon color is this UI color, red, green, and blue. Okay, I will copy paste from the Safari view controller. Let's run that and see how it looks like. There you go, opens it up and very nicely it animates in, 
it had changed the colors of the icons. We can click onto this. We will show the uh, we show a Safari view controller that takes us into our uh, website, and we can dismiss that. Go back into our blog. All right, that's it for this episode. How to build an Instagram action sheet. I hope that you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoy creating this for you. Now, here's your challenge. Here's your code challenge. Number one, go below this video, post your comments. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me any questions and post your comment. What do you like about this video? Just tell me so that I know that you are here in our Developers Academy community. And goes back to your inbox now because I just sent you another email. I will send you another email. Inside that email, you'll find out another iOS course that I created for you. In the next couple of days, I will send you even more tutorials into the email that you provide me when you download the Startup Project. If you haven't downloaded the Startup Project, go into dukchuan.io and get your new iOS course, my new iOS course there for you for free. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. I hope that you see you in the next one. As always, go out there every single day of your life. Learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.